Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about expected value. So expected value is the average value you should expect when repeating an activity many times. And it's found the same way as a mean of a probability distribution. The main difference for these is these are going to be word problems and we're not going to be given the table, we're going to have to make it. Alright, so let's look at example one. A raffle ticket costs $4. The prizes are a cruise worth $500, an Amazon gift card for $150, and a dinner for two worth $100. If 500 people bought a ticket, what is the expected value of a ticket? And is it worth buying a ticket? All right, so to start doing this, we need to set up our probability distribution first and foremost. So we're going to have x, which is going to be our values, and we're going to have p of x, which is going to be the probability that each of those values happen. All right, so what value can we get out of this? Well, we could win $500. All right, and what is the chance that we win $500? Well, if 500 people bought a ticket, and only one person can win the $500, then you have a 1 in 500 chance to win the $500. Alright, next up we have $150 Amazon gift card, so $150. And again, 500 people bought a ticket, only one of those prizes so it'd be one out of 500 that we win it. All right, and lastly, there's a dinner for two worth $100. So we have $100, and same as before, a one in 500 chance of winning it. All right, now, right now, this table is nice and happy because it's just a whole bunch of things we can win. But there's one more value that we have to talk about, and that's the value of the raffle ticket itself. So it costs $4. We're not just getting this for free. So since it costs $4, then we're going to put a negative 4 to represent $4 that we're losing. And what's the probability that we're going to lose that $4? Well, there's a 100% chance, because if we even want to play, then we have to buy the ticket. So there's a 100% chance that we are losing that $4, so we're going to represent that just as a 1. All right, so at this point, we're ready to do our expected value. So just like probability distribution and finding the mean of it, we're going to be just taking each value, so each of these x's, and multiplying it by each of its probabilities. So it's going to be 500 times 1 over 500 plus 150 times 1 over 500 plus 100 times 1 over 500, and then minus 4 times 1. So again, put this all in your calculator. Just make sure that for each of these fractions that you go ahead and put the parentheses around it, because remember, it's a good idea just to always put fractions in parentheses when you're putting in your calculator just to make sure that you don't forget whenever it would actually make a difference. Okay, so whenever you put all of that in your calculator, you should get negative 2.5. So that is the expected value of a ticket. And in this case, since we're talking about dollars, we should really put negative $2.50. Now what does this mean? It means that on average, if you bought a whole, whole bunch of these tickets, 
then for each ticket you can expect to lose about two dollars and fifty cents there's gonna be plenty of times where you actually just lose four dollars there'll be some times where you might win some money like the five hundred dollars but on average if you buy enough tickets you'll have lost about two dollars and fifty cents per ticket so is it worth buying a ticket no because on average you're gonna lose money now if you're just doing it for fun obviously buy a ticket you could win five hundred dollars but if you're actually trying to make some money then just know in the long run that this is going to lose you money all right example two a game has a spinner which has all numbers one through ten in equal wedges it costs two dollars to play if you land on a ten you get ten dollars any odd number will get you two dollars any other number gives nothing what is the expected value of one spin okay so again we're gonna have x which is our values and then the probability that each of those values happens so what could we win we could win ten dollars and remember if there's the numbers one through ten on this spinner that's ten different numbers and we only get the ten dollars if we land on a ten so that's one out of all ten all right so one out of ten is the probability all right next up we could win two dollars what is the chance that we win two dollars well any odd number will get us two dollars so one three five seven and nine so this time there's five odd numbers so five chances to win out of still ten and then again it costs two dollars to play so we're always going to be losing two dollars which means we put negative two and it's one for the probability and we just multiply these so ten times one over ten plus two times five over ten which by the way you're more than welcome to just reduce that to one half but since we're just looking for a decimal at the end anyway, you don't have to. Plus negative two times one. All right, put that in your calculator and you should end up with zero. Which means if you play this game enough times, you're actually just gonna be breaking even. So odds are if you play this a whole bunch of times, you're not going to win any money, you're not going to lose any money, you're just going to walk out with the amount that you started with. Alright, example three. A box contains ten balls of equal size and weight. There are two balls numbered one, three balls numbered two, one numbered three, one numbered four, and three numbered five. What is the expected value of a single draw? All right, so in this one, we're not actually winning any money. The value is just going to be the number on the ball. So we have a ball that's numbered one. And how many of those do we have? We have two of them that are numbered one out of 10 total balls. Next up, we have a ball number two. And we have three of those out of ten. We have a ball number three, and it says that it's just one of those, so it's just one out of ten. Again, one numbered four, so one out of ten. And three numbered five, so three out of ten. 
So again, take each of those numbers, multiply it by its probability. So 1 times 2 over 10 plus 2 times 3 over 10 plus 3 times 1 over 10 plus 4 times 1 over 10 plus 5 times 3 over 10. Add all of those up and you're going to end up with 3. So 3 is the expected number on the ball after enough times. All right, example four. A single ball is drawn at random from the box in example three, which means we're going to be talking about the same probabilities as we did in example three. You win $10 if you draw a one, $8 if you draw a two, $6 if you draw a three, $4 if you draw a four, and $2 if you draw a five. What is the expected value of a single draw? All right, so again, we're going to start out just with the table. So x and p of x. And this time our values are the money. So we can win $10 if we draw a 1. What's the probability that we draw a 1? Well, it's the same probability as drawing a 1 in the previous example. So the probability of drawing a 1 was 2 out of 10. Then $8 if you draw a 2. The probability of drawing a 2 in our previous example was 3 out of 10. $6 if you draw a 3. Probability of drawing a 3 in our previous example was 1 out of 10. $4 if you draw a 4. Probability of drawing a 4 was 1 out of 10. And lastly, $2 if we draw a 5, which was a chance of 3 out of 10. Again, all of those probabilities, so this entire row right here, is just coming from example 3. So we're not creating those right now. It's the same thing we did in example 3. Then we can just multiply these through. So we got 10 times 2 over 10 plus 8 times 3 over 10 plus 6 times 1 over 10 plus 4 times 1 over 10 and plus 2 times 3 over 10. Put that in your calculator, add them all up, and you should get 6. All right? So on average, you'll win $6 from this game because you didn't actually have to pay to play. All right, number five. So for number five, which of the actions described by the tablet, the, sorry, by the tables, that's a typo, below will have the greatest expected value of profit? All right, so think of this as two different games. So think of this as game one, game two. And we're not actually going to pay to play either of these. These are just how much you can win. All right, so for the first game, we just take the probability and multiply it by its value. So you just multiply this column by this column and add each one up. So first one would be 0.24 times 50 plus 0.3 times 100 plus 0.2 times 150 plus 0.26 times 100. Add all of those up and you should be getting 98. All right, let's look at game two. So again, we're just going to be multiplying this column by this column. So multiply each of these and then add each of those up. So 0.1 times 200 plus 0.4 times 
times 40 plus 0.3 times 50 plus 0.2 times 150. Add all of those up and you should get 81. All right, so which of the tables have the greatest expected value? That would be table one, because it's 98 and 81. So if you had a choice between these two games, you should definitely choose the first one. And that is it for expected value.